Do not adjust your set. This is an emergency broadcast. Wednesday is taking over. Geeks of the Week! Hey guys, it's Thursday on Geeks of the Week. Um, I'm kind of filling in for Mario because uh, my video fucked up yesterday so mario was like hey i don't feel well enough to post today i'm like why don't i post today when i have time to actually make something that's can be edited and is somewhat quality so here i am welcome i uh, hope mario feels better um steph is still re was still recovering from las vegas not las vegas um la cosplay con uh las vegas comic con is this weekend uh and then nikki was at LA cosplay con on Friday, so it felt bad that like everybody's gone this week, so I'm gonna try and make up for it a little bit, although I'm not as cute as Steph and Nikki. But anyway, I'm glad that they both, those two had fun, and then they're going to another con this weekend, and then Steph finally announced that she's going to AX for realsies, so she is super duper busy. Um, anyway, but I'm really happy that I get to see Steph, and then there's Mario and Baby J who are getting me super hyped for AX, so awesomeness. Um, I don't know when the four of us are going to be able to get together, but it's got to happen. It has to, because I've been waiting so long to be able to be part of a almost all the geeks gathering, and it's finally going to happen. So, don't know when, but it will happen. Um, AX is shaping up to be crazy busy, but also crazy awesome for me. Um, I might next week go into depth about some of the stuff I'm going to be doing, um, or some of the events I plan on going to. Because, good god, there's so many of them. It's kind of like AX is making up for the past three years I've attended being super shitty for me. Like, almost wanting to quit cosplay level of shitty. Um, but I think this year, I have a good feeling about this year. I have a good feeling. Um, gosh. What else? Anyway, this week in pop culture has been kind of weird for me because, like, everyone's freaking out about Jurassic Park and Final Fantasy and Kingdom Hearts, and I'm like, I have no experience with any of these things. I'm a shitty nerd. You guys know this. I didn't grow up on Jurassic Park. I've never played Final Fantasy, and by extension, I've never played Kingdom Hearts. So, it's been kind of weird seeing everybody freak out about these things when I'm like, Cool. <laughs> I don't know, man. But anyway, E3 was this week, and I continued my grand tradition of not actually watching it. Uh, it's definitely a little harder for me now, now that I work a 95 job, so it's a little tr tricky for me to get away with watching streams at work. Um, and if you can't watch the stream, then there's almost, well, it's airing, then there's pretty much no point in watching it at all, because all the announcements have come out by then. So I just stick to Twitter, because... Apparently, watching people freak out about the announcements is more entertaining than the announcements themselves. Um, I know a lot of people were disappointed with Nintendo. They had puppets, so in my opinion, they won because they had puppets. Um, <laughs> they had a lot of fun with their press conference from what I saw of it. I watched the puppets part. That was basically it. Um, I also watched the new Fire Emblem trailers, of course, which I was really excited for. Um, the first being the... Fire Emblem Cross Shin Megami Tensei game, which I believed was still a myth until two months ago when they released a, finally released a trailer on April 1st. So I guess I really have to believe it's real now. And I guess it has a name now, but I refuse to call it by that name because it's stupid, although I'm entirely convinced it translates to delicious fanboy tears in Japanese. Um, it's some sort of weird, weird acronym. It, it's like it looks it looks like they spelled giraffe wrong it looks really stupid so i'm just gonna call it smt crossfire emblem until the day i die um they also showed a new trailer for the new actual fire emblem game which they're calling fates which is different than what it's called in japanese and i don't like it but it's still happening so i'm really excited about that and that's all I really wanted from Nintendo, so I'm pretty happy. Um, well, I guess kind of disappointing that we didn't get any Zelda news. Okay, we kind of got Zelda news, but we kind of didn't get Zelda news. Kind of like how we kind of got Metroid news, but then we kind of didn't get Metroid news. Anyway, 
there's been enough salt about that on the internet, so I won't go into it. Uh, the one conference I did actually watch because I happened to be home when it was airing was the Bethesda conference, and I have zero experience with any Bethesda games. I promise, I do actually play video games, guys. I, I'm a shitty nerd, but I'm not that bad. Um, but I really enjoyed it from a public relations perspective because they had a really solid showing, I thought. You know, they not only already had the hype of Fallout 4 to ride on, but they were also like, by the way, here's some sick-ass gameplay footage from a game that's coming out this year. Take notes, Sony. And then they were like, oh, by the way, here's a mobile game that we're releasing tonight. It's totally free. There's no paywall. You can pay for things if you want, but it doesn't ruin your enjoyment of the game, and you don't need a Wi-Fi or internet connection to play it. Good job, Bethesda. Good fucking job. Like, I have not played a single one of your games, but you won me over as a company in that one press conference, so... I guess if anybody had to has to win E3, it was Bethesda for me, but... They're the only ones I watched, so I guess it doesn't really count. So, back in my little weird weeb corner of the world where I don't watch things like Jurassic Park, uh, I've been watching some Animu, uh, which is actually a it's kind of a rare occurrence for me that I actually sit down and watch anime. Uh, but I was actually kind of coerced into watching both of these shows, so I guess that's how it happened. Uh, but the first one that I got into, like, literally a week ago is Show by Rock, which if you haven't somehow heard of it, um, you might not have, because I don't think it's on Crunchyroll, but it is the show made by Sanrio, as in the people who made Hello Kitty. Um, so basically I already, it was already destined that I needed to watch it, I just hadn't done it yet. Um, and it's about as stupid as I expected, but I didn't expect to enjoy it as much as I am. Um, it kind of takes a really, a bit of a unique spin on the whole like people making music in anime and also being furries not furries they're anthropomorphic um it kind of takes it to an interesting place it's all really colorful uh the bands are all like really interesting characters um the plot is kind of eh but you guys know me i don't care about plot um i care about cute girls and hilarious fabulous bishi boys and that show ha and show by rock has that in spades so if you're looking for a show that's just kind of enjoyable to just sit down and watch uh check it out for sure and if you're looking for a show that will fucking rip your heart out check out seraph of the end it's really good literally i started watching it last night my boyfriend came home he's like no we're watching this and it's it's really good the best way i can describe it is basically code geass with vampires which I know sounds awful, and if you had sold it to me that way, I would have never watched it, probably. But it it has vampires, but it's not. It's it's done kind of interestingly. Um, it's more in the vein of Dance of the Vampire Bund type of vampires, except without all the loli nudity so far. Um, but it has similar kind of Code Geass feels, where it's about two best friends who are kind of on opposite sides. And there's this new world order that the main character's trying to take down. So far, it's given me a lot of the Code Geass feels, which I'm super about. And I'm really excited to finish this video so I can go watch more of it because that's what I've literally been waiting all day to do. And my boyfriend's really happy to hear that right now because he made me watch it. So anyway, next week I will be getting ready for Anime Expo. I will also be at Leprechaun in Phoenix on Saturday. I'll be hosting three panels and I get to judge a masquerade for the first time. So I'm really excited. So it's kind of a small con geared towards older crowds, so I don't expect to see many of you guys there. But for some reason, you're there, say hi. And I will definitely see some of you guys at AX, because I always that's the only con where I seem to run into Geeks of the Week fans. So come find me at the Cosfix booth. The hours will be posted on my page once I get my final schedule. And I'm done. Thank you for joining me on Thursday. Best wishes to Mario for getting better. Nikki probably won't post tomorrow because of... Las Vegas Comic Con, so it's just me and Baby J this week. Anyway, I'm gonna shut up and go watch anime. Bye, guys! Yoshi's Epic Yarn! It's my favorite game. I can't wait for it to come out. My boyfriend's mad because I call it Yoshi's Epic Yarn. It's what it is! Tell me I'm wrong. Fuck you. 
Fuck you! What? You're laughing at my shitty Jontron impression. It's truly awful. Anyway, I, I killed my boyfriend, apparently. Sorry. <laughs>